the Milimani locals. Andrew, good afternoon. We know this is a developing case and we are just learning the details, including the details of uh, the accuser. May you or could you please tell us who is this person accusing Menya and why is he or she accusing Menya? Well, we now know that the name of the accuser is uh, one Kennedy Kiprotich Kuros. Uh, that is uh, the name on uh, on, the, on the on the application that has been forwarded uh, by the investigating officer. Uh, we don't know. Of course, no one knows him. Uh, he's not a, uh, by any by any imagination a famous person. So uh, we still do not know individually uh, who he is. But that is the name. That is the identity that has been uh, written on the paper. And uh, the reason for this, according to the uh, to the statement on the paper, is that um, uh, the, the the journalist was asking for a bribe so that the story could be published. Published. Uh, this is different from what has been the statements that have been there before. Uh, that the bribe initially was being asked for uh, so that the story could be killed so it, it's still a bit confusing right now to know what exactly ha has been going on uh, of course individually as I said we still don't know who the complainant is and uh, we it's still not clear whether the bribe what the bribe was actually for but according to the pleadings that are have been filed by the investigating officer is that uh, uh, the police are saying that they want uh, uh, three days more to complete the investigations uh, they are saying that they still want to uh, go and 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 conduct some uh, some 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 research some investigation on the clothes that uh, uh, that menya was wearing as well as the money that he, that he, that the, the money that that was involved in this case because we still at this moment do not know details of that money whether uh, it was planted on him or whether it was money he had so these are still very hazy issues that um, is very difficult to talk about at the moment because they are still not very clear uh, b b because even the police report, as I mentioned, is conflicting itself on what Menya is being charged for, and, and it's, it's still interesting. But there is a very strong contingent of lawyers who are representing Menya, uh, being led by James Orengo. Uh, there is uh, Nelson Harvey in the courtroom. There is Apollo Boya, and there is also uh, lawyers from the Kenya Union of Journalists, as well as uh, from the company, uh, the Nation Media Group. So it, it's a battery of lawyers, and from 2:30, uh, when the case is had uh, before the senior principal magistrate uh, we will know the way forward and we will know uh, whether he will be free at the end of the day or, or, or just uh, further details on how uh, the case will proceed Ken. All right Tantru uh, we know there's a lot of theories out there and there are a lot of people speaking to this and what happened but uh, please take us through what exactly happened before his arrest and now he's found himself in court. Well, from what we've gathered so far is that uh, on Sunday, Menya says that uh, he was from church. Then he went to uh, he went to a metropolitan hospital where he was, and these people called him and said they wanted to meet up with him so that he could go wherever uh, they were. But he said he couldn't move, so they are the ones who went to uh, the hospital to meet up with him. Uh, there were several police officers, and they uh, he was put in a car, and they sat with him, and they, uh, he says they gave him a newspaper. Uh, which had money inside and this is the money that is probably uh, going to the government chemist for further analysis and the clothes that he was wearing so and then they say he says that uh, uh, he was taken to the uh, to the CID headquarters, the DCI headquarters that is uh, on Kiambu Road. Uh, this was about 11 o'clock where he was uh, until midnight where he was moved again. Uh, but this is his side of the story. So uh, there is also allegations that uh, he had received money and from him uh, what he says that uh, uh, the, a person, someone has been sending him money uh, and he has been asking, calling the person and asking the person uh, what is this money for. So these are just some of the details that he has been telling us um, uh, about from his side uh, or from his side of the story uh, on on what happened yesterday and, uh, and and what transpired even today in the morning he has been in the courts uh, there has been no even earlier when the when the matter first came before the the magistrate the, even the magistrate did not know uh, uh, whether he had been under arrest and th there was just some confusion on uh, what is going on with the case and what it is really about all right andrew thank you very much looking forward andrew Reporting live from the Milimani Law Court, the case involving Walter Menya will be mentioned this afternoon earlier. We understand that the court ordered that uh, uh, the 
lawyers for the person accusing Menya supply the same same details to the advocates that Andrew Cheng is mentioning is a battery of, of lawyers, including uh, the veteran and senior counsel James Orengo representing Menya in court. In the afternoon, this case proceeds. We'll have all the details for you.